Well, you guys know I love a good Thunderbolt 3 dock. I believe I've tested five of them so far. And I challenged uh, Bernie Thompson from Pluggable, can he make me excited about yet another dock? And he says that he can. Uh, absolutely, because it's not, it's not a fully refined technology yet, or at least it hasn't been until this. Uh, so, you know, we've been working on Thunderbolt 3 since the beginning. And this is now our second major generation of Thunderbolt 3 dock. And there's been a couple outstanding problems in the industry, and maybe you've run into some of them. You know, number one is USB-C versus Thunderbolt 3 confusion. What? People are confused. Why? The port <laughs> looks the same, but then, you know, and it's the a naming conventions are so annoying. Yes, they are. Yep. I did so, a blog post called, uh, just because you plug it in doesn't mean it'll work. Exactly. No, and, and it's, uh, you know, it's a huge problem with USB-C, and it's kind of baked into the design. It's been solved here actually by Intel with the new Titan Ridge chipset, which supports USB-C and Thunderbolt 3, either one from a device. And this dock is one of the first wave of Thunderbolt 3 docks that uses Titan Ridge and so supports USB-C also with the same so you docks. Can, you can move cable. around in to the, the different ports and they all do both? Yes, yeah, the, the, the host, the, the port back to the host and all the down, the functionality on all the downstream ports. Okay. The other major uh, industry confusion has been HDMI versus DisplayPort. <laughs> So unfortunately, you know, neither tech... Do they hate us, the people who invent this stuff? <laughs> you know, a lot of times you get these like Sony versus Betamax type things and one technology wins out. Well, it's been a lot of years now and HDMI DisplayPort is splitting the market. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You sort of wish one of them would just win, right? <laughs> Absolutely. So this stock actually supports both equally. So it, it has a total of two displays out, but it actually has four graphics outputs, an HDMI and a DisplayPort option for each of the two ports. Oh, okay, so you could do one of each, two, 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 two of the same, two not the same. Okay. Exactly, oh, any right. combination. So no matter whether you know what type of monitor you have, HDMI or DisplayPort, this stock supports it, which eliminates you know, that second major frustration. The third major frustration has been, you know, USB power delivery is very flexible, but okay, so something is 60 watt, 85 watt, 94 watt, does this dock really, you know, charge my laptop and does it charge at the full rate? So we're just supporting the maximum USB-C power delivery rate. So for That's example, what I'm talking about. My 16-inch my, uh, MacBook Pro is a beast, and I need it powered. Exactly. That one, Apple jumped up to 94 watts with that one. This stock charges that MacBook at 94 watts at its full rate. Wow, now that's what I'm looking for. We, uh, I think you can back up now here yep. a little bit. We can uh, take a look at the dock. The first thing I got to say about this dock to the audio listeners is it has one of my favorite features is it's standing up. Yes. A lot of the docks are horizontal and they take up like a quarter of your desk space. Exactly. Yeah, no we want to get cables that. up off the desk and that's what this dock does. So so on the front, you know, we've got a uh, you know, SD card, you know, for and two USB ports and we've got audio. So there's a whole you know, are, are we going to talk about USB USB confer, uh, confusion as well? Right. Yeah. yeah which well, luckily, are those? The, so those are USB three ports, and then around the back, we've got even more USB three ports. So the five on the back. Holy cow! So we we've you know we wanted to eliminate every source of frustration, and a lot of the docks end up only having a single hub controller, so they only support maybe one or two ports after you use up some of them for some of the other devices. So we've put in a whole tree of hub controllers to get this many uh, free ports. And then here you see the two graphics options. So we've used the HDMI ports on each one, but we could have had two display port monitors that would have worked just as well. And network and that single cable connection back to the MacBook that is powering all of this stuff and charging the MacBook itself. Nice. Now, I, uh, the one thing I'm not seeing uh, is any USB-C ports. No USB-C ports. And the reason why is because those USB-C ports would be confusing. Uh, for example, if so you eliminated you, it by taking them out, not putting them the, in. The, the downstream ports. So, okay. it's, so it's USB-C back to your host, but then it's you know it's all the ports. Huh. You know, other than the, you know if you if you want to use USB-C, you have the ports in your laptop, on the USB dock itself. USB-A is all is the ones on the on the dock. Yeah, downstream. Okay. Uh, because, That's for example, if a, if a dock today has a USB-C port and, for example, you take one of those multifunction dongles and plug it into it, well, guess what? The USB port on the multifunction dongle will work, but the, the display port won't. Oh, There's okay, so many okay. options within the USB-C uh, spec that it's very confusing for consumers. I do so, spend a lot of time studying the diagrams on the back of the docks that I test, yes. and I'm usually sure I can identify 
at least two thirds of what's on the back when I'm done. Yep, yep, yep. Wow. Okay. Well, this is this is pretty interesting. So, is this uh, when is this stock going to be available? So, this stock is going to be available here in the first half of 2020, and it's going to be just under $300. Oh, come on! When when you described this, I was like, okay, so this is going to be a $400 stock. Yeah. But you hit the $300 price hit point $300 where everybody else point. is, but it's very cool. It looks like a book. It's rounded on the front and it's square on the back. It's really nice looking. Well, that's fantastic. So, uh, is there what's the name of this? Uh, so, this is the pluggable TBT3 UDZ. So that's that's the SKU, so it's the plug. It's the new th pluggable Thunderbolt 3 dock. Very good. And pluggable only has one G, P L U G. That's right. A B L E. You know, the English word was taken with two Gs, so so we're we're just owning it with one G. And we've been around for 10 years. We have over 120 different USB products, so we're we're pretty well known. And would that be a pluggable.com? It is. Very yeah. good. Thank you very much. Brady. Yeah. Thank you. All right.